welcome to another episode of Tipping Talks in Chandelure. And of course, welcome in 2024. This is going to be the first run of the new year. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to that. Last time uh, I went into a dungeon, found some goodies. So I actually decided to do another dungeon run today. And what I've done, I've, I've actually read the comments. There are so many useful tips in there. And somebody said, if you, let's just go back. If you click here on this door, you can see all the dungeon clues. And here we see the dungeons. So I checked out Cave of the Ice Worm, which is near the uh, Sarmal's Haven. And if I look on the card, so I needed some puzzling. The Haven is here all the way on the top. So I'm gonna go all the way up to the north to try to get the Haven. First, I'm gonna go here to the cliff, the steading to free these people. And um, yeah, I'm sure all sorts of things will happen in the meanwhile, you know, as they always do. But that's all part of the game. We don't need these cards. Oh, somebody actually advised me to put a Royal Assassin in the deck, so. Let's check it out. Royal Assassin, how many do I have? Greeds. How many Royals do I have? Raise debts. I've got two Royals. Okay, so I can add two Royals, but then I need to take something out. Boomerang, I guess, could go out. Um, what a deck. What a deck this is. Ghost, I like Ghost Ship. I like Clone. Maybe I'll just take out all the Boomerangs. I mean, Boomerang is a good card, but could take that out. How many lands? I have 17, 20, 22, 23 lands. And a Mox, so I could consider taking out the land as well. And a Mox Emerald. Hmm. Let's see, I don't have any other underground seas. Ooh, I need one more underground sea. I didn't know that. I only have three underground sea, so I need one more. Mm, I guess I can take out an island since I've added the Mox. Oh, Mox, I need a Mox FR still, which is actually, so if you click on here, you can see what you can find. Actually, a Mox Sapphire is in that cave of the ice worm. So I'm really gonna go for that one. Anyway, uh, oh, trade white amulets for black cards. Let's have a look. What are cards that we need? Maybe Abomination is nice for the for the White Castle. Or did I already defeat the White Wizard? I can't remember. I think I did. I just have blue and, and black remaining, so I don't need this one. Um, are there any good black cards that maybe I need? I don't know. Oh wait, then I can get an underground sea, of course. Duh. Yes, I'll trade. Yeah, we got our underground sea. Sorry, guys. I mean, it's been uh, busy holidays. <laughs> I need, I need to get my my focus back onto the game. How does this game work again? Underground sea. Let's add it to the mix. Sweet. Now I got to take something out again. I'm just going to take out the Mox Emerald because it's it's an off-color Mox. I cannot take that. Dancing Scimitar Trike. I mean, Trike is so good, especially if I clone it. Maybe I can get more Trikes and get copy artifacts and clones and stuff. That would be quite good. Anyway, we're done for now. Uh, no, I'm not going to begin a quest. Accept Tribute. A spell from my deck. 40 food. We'll do it. Okay, um, so we've got a challenge is Mandurang. This place is ruled by the Black Wizard to free the city. I have to defeat the Mandurang. Duel the creature. I can win an Ornithopter. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's take a look. What do we have here? Hippie in the game. Oh, what? What? That was my only island. Okay, this is the worst start ever. Ornithopter, swamp. I mean, I can cast contract from below, but then I'll have to put another card in as my ante. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think it's too risky because I don't want to lose any power cards. I mean, I think I'm just gonna lose this. Sit back, lose this one and just go back into the castle. 
I'm just going to accept my loss here. I mean, this is a ridiculous start, right? I mean, hypnotic on the board, unstable on it, second unstable on it. Oh, yeah, sure. Wow. Wow. I was dead in how many, how many turns? Two? Three turns? Jeez. I mean, I know what it feels like. Sometimes when you play old school at tournaments, mm, and somebody draws the nuts, like not too long ago, um, you know, this guy, he played a duel, he played Moxon, he played, what was it again? Uh, Black Lotus, of course, and then he played a balance. I mean, that was, I lost like half of my hand. That was very painful. Um, anyway, back to the drawing board, I guess. Okay, I've got 60, I could also keep it at 60. Do I have a counter spell? I do. I mean, should I should I be worried about this? I'm just gonna give it another go. I mean, it's probably just bad luck, right, that he started with a... Um, accept tribute, sure. A spell from my deck. What kind of spells do you have? Let's, let's go for a spell. Mm, you don't really have any spells that I want. I thought maybe you had some power in your deck. Um, anime Deads? Do I need an Anime Dead still? Ooh, Cole from the Grave. That's a cool one. I'll take that one. Duel the Creature! At least I get to start. Okay, no Hypnotic Spectre. Um, I can start the duel. Carrying Ants. Okay. You know, Carrying Ants is good. But it's not the end of the world. I've got a factory, so... Of course! Again, the unstable. Oh, man. Is this really happening? Am I just gonna get killed every single time that I, that I battle this dude? Um, should I play a contract? Should I? Should I play a contract? I'm not going to play a contract. I'm going to wait. Don't cast another unstable. Wow. The deck of this dude. It's unreal. And now I have a counter spell. No, that's going to help. Um, I think I'm going to play a Tim just to chump. Uh, I'm just going to chump with the Tim. Whatever. Wow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ooh, a royal. Oh, that's really nice. I can play royal. But then I am going to take some damage. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to hope that I'm going to survive. Like, he can he can pump his carrying ants. Okay, I, I'm not going to block. Do it. Do your worst. Oh, he's not going to pump. Okay, that's kind of nice. So I'm on seven. I can kill... Okay, 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 I'm feeling good. I'm gonna kill that creature right now before something fishy happens. That feels good. Um, I'm gonna cast Hypnotic in a way that I can still keep counter magic. Yeah, factory, exactly. Okay. So now I can counter. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm in control. I need that counter spell for potential direct damage. A scimitar. Let's counter the scimitar. Oh, I'm going to cast the same gear. Pass the turn. The only thing I'm worried about now is direct damage. I mean, I'm on seven. So, I'm going to play a contract. Ooh, Brain Geyser with a Dark Ritual. I can also play Dark Ritual and then... Ooh, then I can cast my Moti. Let's do that. Papa Moti. Now I'm going to attack with both. Let's see what he does. Discard a card. Nice, he's got no cards in hand. I mean, I'm still not really comfortable because I'm at 7, he's at 20, and he's got the Tome. But I mean, it could be worse. Oh, time walk. This is this is really good. This is really good. I'm gonna activate the factory. Uh, 
I'm going to swing in with the team. I'm going to cast Time Walk. Got a Swamp. I think I'm going to draw some cards, to be honest. Let me see. Uh, I could first attack, and then I've got two. I can still draw four cards. I think that's worth it. I think I should, you know, attack with the assembly worker. I mean, it's going to cost me two cards, basically, right? But I'm going to do it. Mm, I'm going to attack with everything. I mean, I'm pretty low. Oh, I can use a royal if he attacks, of course, with the flyer. Nice. Okay, then I'm going to draw, play this one. Cast four, done. Choose me, obviously. Okay, I got a clone, Sengir Mamoti. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it seems to be going very well. Do I actually need this control magic? I mean, he's on... You know what? I'm going to do it. Better be safe than sorry, I think. Um, let's see. Let's move the factory. Change to assembly worker. Let's attack. Hey, I beat, uh, I beat the man rank. Trade black amulets for green cards. Nope. Um, Death Lace, Wooden Sphere, Xenia Poltergeist. Let's buy some food. You know what? I'm going to start going for that, uh, for that dungeon, right? What was the name again? The Cave of the Ice Worm. I love it. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs. Up. Leave the village. Let's go for the Cave of the Ice Worm. Green amulets for any enchantments. Uh, sure, let's have a look. What do you have? Do you have the abyss? That's probably something you have to earn, right? Um, oh, I like haunting wind. I did. Um, I'm gonna get some weaknesses actually for. Yes, I'll trade. Weakness is gonna be really good for that dungeon um, of the black wizard that has all that, those hypnotic specters. Hmm. Is there anything from blue I'm still looking for? Power leak. Festival oil, erosion. I don't think so, to be honest. Anything from white that I need? Oh, an angelic voices. Ah, oh, it's three green, that's too bad. Um, oh, of course, COP black. Yes, I'll trade. Okay, so at least I got a COP black. That's good for that deck. Okay, we're gonna leave the village. I'm not gonna do any quests today. I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna try to... Ooh, Dark Ritual. How many do I have Dark Rituals? How many Dark Rituals do I have? How many do I want? That's another question, but... Only one Dark Ritual. Okay, I'm going to buy that Dark Ritual. Yes. And then I'm going to go up. Oh, there's a dungeon. There's a dungeon. Okay, I might as well just go into that dun dungeon. Two green amulets. Eh, never mind. Let's go into the dungeon. Oh, this is exciting. The dungeon of Kras Keep. No, not a power struggle. If I go out, oh man, then the dungeon's gone. Okay, that was stupid. Dungeon of Cross Keep. Life loss carries over. Wow, check check out the cards in the dungeon. Okay, if we see it again, um, we know what to do. I feel kind of bad clicking on exit, but I just, I was thinking that maybe it would still be in the place. If not expector, yes, please. Do I have four hippies? No, I don't. Exactly, I don't. 
Well, let's put that hippie in there. I mean, hippie's good. Hippie's a good card. Give me some hippies every day of the week. Um, sometimes, by the way, in, in tournament magic, I get kind of tired of hypnotic specters. You see them so often. Which, again, I don't blame people playing that card. It's just insanely good, but... Yeah. You know what? I'm going to cut a Tim. I know. I'm going to keep one Tim. Don't worry, but... Got to make space in the deck. Um... Let's see, north to Eleanor Bazaar. Where am I? Oh, I'm actually quite close. I think. Yeah, there it is. I got to make a screenshot of this. There it is. Now we've got our thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to go into the ice wormy thingy. Okay, we found a swamp as well. Bad moon in effect, cave of the ice worm. I don't mind a bad moon, I'm playing with uh, black cards myself. Hypnotic specter, okay. Let's do a question. What is the total casting cost of sea serpent? Well, that's actually six, it's one blue and five. Mm. And it is island home. Yeah. Okay, I've got the hippie now, and I don't want to lose the hippie, so I'm not going to go to any other dice. Let's first check out if we can find someone to fight. Okay, okay, we got a candidate. It's a vampire. It's actually our only candidate, so I'm going to battle Mr. Vampire. Vampire Lord! Mm, he can start. He will play first. Start to duel. Ooh, I got a hippie in play. There's a bad moon. This is awesome. I get Mox Jet, Swamp Swamp, Contract from Below, Sangir, Control Magic. Hmm. Oh wow. Uh, let's go Mox Jet. Let's go Swamp. Let's attack. Why not? Hey. Okay. So there should be a Mox Sapphire in this dungeon. That's what I'm going to go for. Uh, I'm going to go here Dark Ritual into Sengir. It's so good to play with Moxen, you know, it's so nice. Like a Moxen Dark Ritual kind of really feels overpowered. Mm. But I think I'm at the stage of the game where I have to play kind of tough. I mean, if I don't, I'm just going to get like, uh, like killed every single turn. Or every single match. Anyway, I'm going to play Contract. This queen can be a serious problem. Hypnotic Spectre. Found a solution. I'm going to attack for now. Let's go. Oh, it's an Hypnotic. I thought it was a Royal. So I haven't found a solution. Then again, I mean, he's on seven. I can attack through the air. Um, Let's go. What do I have to work with? Mishra's Factory, Strip Mine, Underground Sea. I've got Counterspell. Oh, I've got Time Walk. Okay. Yeah. I know what to do. I also got a Psionic Blast. Wow. Let's just first attack, see what she does. It's so nice. She uses the ability, but I still have the counter and I have the bat moon. So she's still taking two. She's not going to survive. Wow. Okay. That was neat. Um, ooh, an hypnotic specter again. Who to beat? Who to fight? This dude or this dude? Um, I'm going to go for, I think it's a her, isn't it? A warlock. Okay. Gonna play first, start to duel. Ooh, my mana base is not great. Let's see, I've got an Island Factory, Control Magic, Modi, Hippie, Royal, Cyblast. Okay, I'm gonna go for Factory, then I can animate Factory. Next turn, swing in for some extra damage. Let's go Island. Let's animate. 
I mean, for one swamp, I'm not really worried about anything that he can play on my factory. I mean, there's not really anything that he can have in black. Taking the damage, passing the turn. I mean, now he can get a sinkhole, which I guess he doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go, swamp. Wow, I can play. Let's go. Let's do Cyblast. Let's kill this dude. Hey, winning the game. Another hippie. Wow. You just get hippies all the time here. Poo. Another fiend. Play first. Ooh, life loss is carried over. I didn't notice that. So playing that psionic blast was pretty stupid because it meant that I take two damage with me. Ooh, ancestral recall. This is the first time that I can play my ancestral. That is cool. Oh man, this feels great. Ancestral recall in this game. That's funny. Um, let's attack. I still feel, feel very like fortunate that I actually own a, uh, a cardboard Ancestral Recall. In my opinion, it's the best card in the game. Feel free to disagree. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think is, your, is the best card in the game and why. Uh, and I know Contract from below, I know that is, that is actually the best card, but this is an anti-card, right? So it's, you know, it's banned uh, in every format. Mm, do I wanna, if I attack, yeah, I'm gonna attack. The reason I'm doubting is because he can animate factory and attack me. I don't want that to happen. Um, should I play a contract? I think we're gonna play a contract. Which seems odd, but everything in my hand is double blue and I don't have any blue mana. And now I've got a time walk, so this is ideal. This is what I actually what I wanted. I'm going to take an extra turn, play an island, going to attack. I'm going to play another time walk. I'm going to untap, I'm going to attack again. Uh, I guess I could just play another time walk. Why not? I'm just going to try to get this whole hand empty. Okay, now I want to play the Hypnotic, but I also want to keep mana open for Counterspell, because I have Counter Magic. Okay. This is looking pretty good. I mean, if, if you can play with four Time Walks in your deck, it gets kind of crazy, doesn't it? Ooh, treasure! Hey, Mox Pearl! Okay, sweet. I can use that in my white deck. Let's get these dice. Mamoti Jin. Wow. Which of these spells requires two red and one colorless mana to cast? Brothers of Fire, Bull Lightning, Mana Barbs, Chaos Lace, Iron Claw Orcs. Okay, so Iron Claw Orcs is a 2 2 for one red and one. Chaos Lace is one red that changes color to red. Mana Barbs is one red and two, an enchantment. Bull Lightning, three red. Brothers of Fire, two red and one from the dark. Kind of the Timmy of the dark. Because look, it can deal one damage. This card is better than you think, by the way. Hey, another treasure. Hey, Sapphire, we found the Sapphire, we found the Sapphire. Um, is there any other treasure here? Ali from Cairo. That is an epic, epic card that I actually don't own in paper. I guess it's one. The, the thing with Ali, I, I guess, is you need multiple of it, I think. Uh, but let's see, is there anything to gain here? I don't think so. And I don't want to battle any more of these dudes because if I do, um, they're just gonna, you know, I, I may lose like important cards. So I don't want that to happen. Hey, there we go. That was a very good run. Um, let's put that Sapphire in the deck ASAP. Mox Sapphire. There we go. Woohoo! 
People have asked me, like, why didn't you put the other Moxon in your deck? And you're right, your deck gets a lot better. But I, I, I don't like playing with off-color Moxon. It just doesn't feel old school to me. That's, again, that's just me. Um, but now I need to take cards out, right? 16, 20, 23. Um, I'm going to take a Swamp out. I'm also going to take an Island out. I feel like 14, 18... That's uh, not... Yeah, 21 and 2 Moxon is 23. And I've got Dark Rituals. I think, I mean... That's good, right? And here we've got the white deck again. I guess I need to make that deck white and black. But I'm going to do that in another episode. I just want to do some more dungeon hunting. Blue cards. Altar of the Cyclops. Where is that? Contains... Ooh, I can get Demonic Tutor. South of... Firanian Keep. South. Okay, let's try to... Firanian Keep. I don't really see Firanian Keep anywhere. Gold Snap Keep. Crack Shrine. Oh, here! I gotta go all the way down again. You know what? I'm just gonna go all the way down again. Who cares? I'm just gonna go all the way down. I wanna have a Demonic Tutor. Uh-oh. Nether Fiend attacking. Ooh, I'm gonna go there. Basalt Monolith. Where is that hole, people? Okay, I'm pretty close. Trade black amulets for any fast effects. Oh, I can get Swords of Plowshares. Yes, I'll trade. Ooh, I need amulets to have these active. Hmm. I didn't realize that. I'm, I'm learning so much still from this game. Um, let's see, the card seller suggests. If you combine Ragman with Animate Dead, you already have. You can make your opponents discard creatures and animate them. <laughs> oh, I love... I'm going to use this in Forgotten Combos. I love that. Uh, I already have enough Sangiris. The Ragman's there. What I love about this game is the seller tries to persuade you to buy cards, which is actually what I remember when trading cards and people had these cards in their binders that were just bad cards, you know, especially these rare cards that you didn't want to pull and people would used to come up with with strategies. Oh man, you need this card because you can use it so-and-so. Would be really, well, it was pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's go up again. A spell from my deck. I'll take 150 gold. Auntie, look at my auntie, a mox jet. Oh, am I gonna do this? I promise to do it. I promise not to shy away from the duel. Oh man, but I don't want to lose this. If I lose this, if I lose this, oh man, mox jet. Oh, start to duel. Hippie! No, not a hippie! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm going to have nightmares of these turn one hippies against me. It's just insane. Um, What can I do? Underground C. Hopefully I can cast Time Walk next turn. He doesn't take the Swamp out. Swamp and Time Walk and Royal are the cards I really want to keep. What did he take? Hippie. Okay, okay. That's not too bad. Oh man, I can lose a Mox Jet here. Okay, another Time Walk, that's something. But I need lands though. I mean, it's nice to have Time Walks. Okay, Mox Sapphire, that's something. Um, I'm gonna do another Time Walk. Hypnotic, okay, I can do Hippie on Hippie. Hopefully I can stabilize. If he has like a Swords, 
Okay, this is this is not great, but it's not the end of the world. I'm I'm just gonna block. Oh, this is an exciting match. Like it gives me the thrills. I really don't want to lose the Mox Sapphire. Okay, I've got a swamp. I can do control magic now. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Let's steal that bad boy. No disenchant, no disenchant, no disenchant, no disenchant. No disenchant. Fine, you attack with your you attack with your vultures. I'll I'll gladly take the damage if you promise not to disenchant. Hey, Yoshin Soldier, I can I can take. Yoshin Soldier, actually, uh, it's funny. Uh, it's, it's what's called the Toy Soldier in testing. That's why if you do the, the Yoshin, the Y-O-T, if you turn that around, you have Toy Soldier. Oh, this is really good. I'm going to cast Royal. I'm going to attack. Ah, losing a Healing Solve. So cool. Every time I see that card, I'm like, I want to make a deck with that card. Ooh, Pestilence. That's bad. Best one's bad. Mm, what to do here? Um, I, I think I'm going to go royal on the vultures. Now that the royal is still around, I'm going to attack. Mm, I feel like I just want to go ship. I just want it with the go ship. I can block the soldier. I'm ahead on life, so Pestilence is not as good. Ooh, or maybe it is. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so good. If I block, we're both going to lose our creatures. Do I care? I'm going to block. Dark Ritual. Mamoti. Yeah, one of the reasons I blocked was to destroy the Pestilence. If you're wondering, because I mean, Pestilence goes out of the game if there are no creatures anymore. So that's why I blocked. Because obviously, it wasn't a good exchange Yoshin for a, for a, a, a Go Ship. But Pestilence is it's such a risky card. There's a Drudge. Island. I'm going to clone, of course, my Modi, Papa Modi. Going to attack. Remember, I've got a Mox Jet on the line. Ooh, sweet. Ancestral Recall. Let's first recall. Get some info. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's attack with everything. I mean, I'm going to cast a Sengir anyway. If he's got some way to heal himself. Yay! Free the city! Trade blue amulets for any fast effects. Okay, let's go for that Swordsman. Yes, I'll trade. Okay. <clears throat> And I think I was heading all the way down, right? Maybe there's a dungeon closer by. Azar's Crypt, north of Aloran Hole. Ooh, library. I want library. North of Aloran Hole. Aloran Bazaar. Hold Shrine. Aloran Haven. Nevermore Hole. I don't see a Lorne Hole. Let's see Dungeon of the Crass. Power struggle in effect, okay? Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna walk south and I'm, I'm sure we'll run into stuff. We'll run into stuff. It doesn't matter. Wow, Centaur Shaman. But I think I can no longer battle the Shaman because it's connected to the Red Wizard, right? That's the problem with these quests. Like I can take the quests, but I'm simply not gonna find those uh, those enemies anymore, which is annoying. Oh wow, look at all these dudes.
No, I want to know the location of the world magic cards. Oh, I mean of the dungeons. I need dungeon information. Where's Allure and Haven? Oh, there, all the way down. Oh, man. Like, I need white amulets to get my sword back in action. Take a creature spell west with the green amulets. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll do it. West to... Shea Clips time. Okay, let's do it. Hey! I don't want to defeat an undead knight. I just want to go. I want to go south! Man, the wizards are like getting all sorts of stuff. This is not good. Nothing here. Where am I on the map? Okay, I'm getting close. Let's just free these two villages and then we'll... Yeah, let's free those two villages. Look, there's the first one. I must duel the necromancer. It's sent by the evil black wizard. Sure, dude. Sure, dude. Whatever, man. I'll fight you. Start the duel, factory, underground sea island, contract from below, another contract, Mom Modi, Sengir. The same old overpowered stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be that kind of game, is it? Uh, I'm gonna go factory. And the next turn I'm gonna attack with the factory. It's a simple plan. Oh, actually, I changed my... Can I? No, I cannot play out my hippie. Hmm. No, no, no. Get, uh, why did I click get mana? I didn't want to get mana. Okay, then I'm going to side Blast. That was a weird turn. Okay, Underground C. Now I can cast my hippie. Woohoo! Maybe next turn, if I can find a land, I can cast Sengir. Hey, there's the swamp. Let's cast Sengir. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another hippie. Uh, let's, let's see, what can I do? I'm going to turn this into an assembly worker with an island. I'm going to swing in for six, and then I'm going to cast another hippie. It's a simple plan, but an effective one, I think. And I can start discarding his hand. Look at that. Ooh, there's a zombie master. Zombie master. Okay, there's another island. Oh, I can cast Mamoti. When you can cast Mamoti, you cast Mamoti. Attack for six. Pass the turn. Ooh. Raise dead as well. Okay. So this is pretty nice, right? He's got he's got his stuff going on, but I think he's not gonna survive. Because I'm gonna attack him for eleven and he's on nine. Bye. Let's free this village. Ooh, look at my anti-time walk. Anti-time walk. Ooh, carry Nance, okay. It's not as bad, but look at my hand. Only swamps. Oh man, I can lose a time walk. At least a royal, but I cannot cast a royal yet. Who gave me that Sarah Angel? Where did that Sarah Angel come from? Okay, let's play a royal. Let's hope the royal stays alive long enough so I can kill the carrion ants. 
Okay, that's good news. I'm just gonna kill the carrying ads before I forget, or I click away, or I do something stupid. I need that Sarah out of my deck. Why is that Sarah in my deck? Okay, underground sea, that's good. Now we're cooking, let's attack. Let's play to Tim. Hmm. Let me think, what is wisdom? Oh, I can, oh, this is pretty fun, look. Hey. I killed it. That's why Timmy is handy. I mean, with the Tim and Psionic Blast, you can start killing five toughness creatures like Sheevan or, you know, the sword. The Dancing Scimitar. Oh, new dancing. Can we, give me a break. And now I find my second blue for Counterspell. That is so typical. Now I have to remember to ping him on end step. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is not cool. Anyway, if he attacks... Oh, I forgot to ping! This is what happens to me. Like, I get distracted by what he does. And I just keep clicking enter. But what I want to say, if he attacks, I can use my royal. So... Um... Oh, I don't have any mana to counter. That's annoying. I should have done Dark, dark Ritual, played my Sengir with Dark Ritual. Again, forgetting to ping. I, I'm just the worst at this game. Um, Dark Ritual? And now I'm going to play a huge Brain Geyser on me. Am I going to attack? No, I'm not. Now I've got a discard. I'm going to discard the Sarah because I cannot play the Sarah. And now I've got to remember to ping. I already lost like two pings. Hey, there we killed it. Underground C, I'm gonna cast another Sengir. Pass the turn. Now I need to remember to ping again. Uh, another Willow, okay, sure. It's nice to kill all these willows. It's fun. I'm just going to cast a Mahamoti. Why not? And then, I mean, at a certain point, at the right moment, I'm going to just attack, play the time walk, attack again. Probably kill him in one, one big alpha, double alpha strike. But I'm just waiting for the scimitar to be small enough not to survive a block. Ooh, that carrying ants is good. Let's see if I, let's see what he does. Okay, he's not even pumping it. That is funny. I was expecting a pump. Um, gonna destroy that mountain. Oh, he's got another one behind there. Okay, whatever. Um, play Sengir. Pass turn. I could have attacked with the Modi here, by the way. Should have, I should have attacked. Let me correct myself. I should have attacked here with the Modi, but I'm, there's so much on the board. Wow, it's, it's... Keeps playing creatures not to take the damage from the Tim. Very clever, very clever. I'm gonna clone the Modi. I think the time has come to do a big attack. Let's go. 
Now I'm going to play a time walk. And let's attack again. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous, isn't it? I'm just only going to attack with these big, big dudes. Because it's cool. Yeah! I'm free to sit here. The Nether Fiend with green cards. What What am I going to do with green cards? Uh, let's look on the card. Okay, we're going to go to Ella. A Lauren Haven. Go to Lauren Haven, everybody. It's great fun there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get... Before I go to Lauren Haven, let's take that Sarah Angel out of the... Which is already out of the deck. Okay. The card seller suggests if you combine Marsh Viper with Thomas's Wand. I've seen this one already. I know poison counters all the way. The Warlock. Uh, I don't think so, man. I'm first going to free this... Village. The black wizard. Duel the creature. Duel the creature. Are we gonna have a hippie in play? Okay, a bats. Okay, I'm I'm just happy with that. Um two factory, swamp island, town walk ritual, Timmy. Uh I'm gonna go factory. And I can attack for two next turn. I can use Dark Ritual later in the game to, to play out a Tim early, which could be quite effective on this board. Ooh, but now there's also... Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to attack with the factory. Attack factory. I am thinking next turn I can play my Sengir. I love that, like using Birds of Paradise to produce black mana to pump your bats. <laughs> I love this game. I really love this game. Uh, Dark Ritual. I mean, one of my New Year's resolutions is to, to, to finish this Chandelar run, but not finish playing Chandelar, but just finish this run. You know, I've only got two castles left, bunch of dungeons, and then I want to make like the ultimate deck to try to beat the, you know, the end planeswalker. He's got like a hundred lives, right? Like the dragon that you got to fight at the end. Ooh, carrying ants. Carrying ants. What to do here? Uh, I got some options. I think I'm going to go Tim. And I'm actually not going to attack because of the carry dance. Ooh, wow. Um, I'm going to take the damage. Do your worst. Look at that. Not even pumping the carry dance. Wanderlust. Uh-oh. He's, he's doing quite well, actually. Um, what can I do? Let's try to kill the carrying ants. Mm, I'm gonna attack with the factory. And I'm gonna cast Time Walk. Let's first just attack. Cast Time Walk. I'm gonna take an extra turn because then it can kill another creature. And also take another damage. I know, I know. Ooh, I can also steal something. Hmm, that is tempting. But I think I'm going to clone the Sengir. I'm going to kill the birds. Let's animate and attack. Put him on 12, pass him to turn. This feels right, I think. I, I do like this deck, you know, with, with the Cursed Land and the Wanderlust, and I just like that theme. It's very old school. P 
People used to play Wanderlust on the walls of the opponent because they would kind of stick around for the whole game anyway. Like, that was kind of funny. Or on the regeneration creatures. Um, do I want to untap the Sengir? I don't... Why not? Let's untap the Sengir. Let's kill the bats. Another good thing to do is put a Wanderlust like on the Royal Assassin or something. Because usually people with those cards played a really controlling game and you would go, okay, sure. You know, I'm not going to attack you with my creatures, whatever. He's a Wanderlust. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Anyway, he's on four. I'm on 13. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good card. Cockatrice. Little combo here. Cockatrice Fog. It's pretty cool. Um... I'm not going to untap. I'm going to take my damage. Down to 11. Island, control magic. Let's take the cockatrice. Attack with the Sengir, win the game, right? Hey, free Nutter Village. Okay, so Nether Fiend attacking the keep. Where's the Phyrexian keep? Over there. Okay. Um, trade green amulets for any fast effects. Okay, I'm gonna go to the keep. I'm gonna try to free the keep, but we were also going to Azar's crypt. No, we were going to altar of the Cyclops, south of the keep. Where's the keep again? Oh, that's there. Oh, I gotta go there anyway. Okay, sure. I'm gonna go there. Free the village, and then I'm probably pretty close to the keep. Accept tribute, sure. Forty food. Okay. Wow, the Nether Fiend is still like wants to challenge me. Sure. Start to duel. Royal Assassin Island, Island, Counterspell, Counterspell, Ghost Ship Island. Okay. I mean, now I can counter stuff away, so. That's funny, eh? Shadow, Shadow Legacy. <laughs> oh, that's about this card. Nether Shadow is, is such a unique card in old school. So cool. Unaffected by summoning sickness and it can come back into the game. Another island I can cast ghost ship. Let's do it. Let's attack. I'm going to go dark ritual into royal assassin. I don't want to use my contract because I've got two counter spells in hand. So it's so good to kind of control the game. Soul Net. I do like this deck of the Nether Fiend, but he's just not drawing into anything. Um, Let's just attack. Boom. I'm going to use my Ritual again to play my Hippie. Because I also kind of want to empty my hand because of the contract. So whatever he's going to cast, I'm just going to counter it with counter spell. Maybe we're going to see a um, anime dead. So let's counter this Black Knight. Just because we can. Let's attack. It's going to be funny. If he has to discard some more creatures, he can bring his first Nether Fiend back. Because I think there are... Actually, there are three creatures on there now. Scenic Poltergeist. I'm just going to counter, because I'm going to cast Contact from below next turn. Oh, wow. What could I do? Let's go... I could do Time Walk, obviously, but it's also kind of fun to go Brain Geyser. Let's go Brain Geyser. Yeah. 
And let's attack. Ooh, now I gotta discard stuff. Um, wow. I can do one control magic. You know what? I don't want to discard creatures because he's got animate deads. Um, then again, I've got control magic, right? So I can just get it back anyway. I'm going to do royal. If he steals my royal, I can just get it back. A bug imp. Okay, I'm not... I have to be honest. I don't want to offend you, but I'm not really impressed thus far with, with your game. Uh, let's first just attack. Okay, so he takes the damage. I think I can win it here with a Psionic Blast. Hey! Take the Dungeon Clue. But I already know this. I want to know the location. Okay, so we've got at least... It's, it looks a bit like a hobbit hole, doesn't it? It's a tomb, I know, but it looks like a hobbit house to me. Hey, there it is. Oh, this is the keep. Hey, duel the fiend. Duel the fiend! Play first. Start the duel. Uh, underground C, I've got Psy Blast, Clone. So not really any action in hand, but I'm just gonna trust that I'm gonna draw into action sooner or later. Maybe I'm gonna play with two Control Magics instead of three. I mean, it's happened so often that it feels like I have too many Control Magics in my deck. I mean, they're extremely powerful, but still. Um, Psy Blast on it? Let me first pass the turn, see what he's going to do. Although now he can gain life from the, from the Psy Blast if I play it. Whatever. Kill it! He gains a life and I lose two! That's good business, man. I mean, I, I have control magic for bigger stuff, I guess. Ooh. Um, Swamp. Do I want to control magic this? I guess I can clone it. Do I want to? I don't want to clone it. I want to clone the trike. Okay, I'm going to control magic it. Whatever. Urk Raiders, pretty nice stats, right? One black and one for two, three. It's pretty sweet. Ooh. Island. Let's first attack, see what happens. Okay. Dark Ritual. Trike. Let's pay half of it with the Dark Ritual. Oh man, this is unfortunate, right? You want to keep enough mana open to also counter, so... But hey, it is what it is. C'est la vie. So I can clone the Trike. That always feels good to clone the Trike, because you've got your three counters again. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm going to attack. Let's see how he blocks it. Maybe I can use my trite counters. Yeah, exactly. Um, Bog Imp, right? So I can put one on the Imp. And I can put one on here. Oh, that's some trike math. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love like small victories like that. It's cool. Trike is such a good card. It's so handy in combat. Oh, man. There's another good card. Junin of Freaks. Why is, why is there a stream of life in my deck? What am I going to... Whatever. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to attack. Let's see. Ooh, again. Um, sure, we're, we're just going to trade my Urg Raiders for it. It's fine. Yeah. 
Ooh, anime dead. That's pretty good. Factory. Um, I could have countered that, right? Why didn't I counter? Because I am not paying attention. Um, I guess I can attack. Let's see what happens. Okay, you take the damage, sure. This is fine. Um, mm -hmm. change to assembly worker for a swap. Blockers, let's block. Hey, Psyonic Blast again. Oh, uh, let's... Or not animate. I'm not going to animate because I want to keep counter magic up. Let's attack. Let's kill the creature, the Union of Freed. I recently got my hands on a playset of Union of Freed, by the way, so I really want to build a deck with it. If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. I guess it's going to be kind of like mono black aggro, right? And then the Union of Freed's going to be my top end. I think that's probably the best way to go. Maybe add some willows and, and, and because I have bad moons and stuff. Mm, should have animated my factory. Sorry, guys. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit sleepy in this particular game, but I'm going to counter. I remember to counter. Yeah, that's a personal victory. Um, do I want to animate? I do. Yeah, because then I also have enough mana to still counter, so I can do that. Anyway, let's attack Assembly Worker Trike. Oh, I can finish him because he's going to go to three. This is why Trike's also good. As soon as your opponent's on three, the game's over. Because look, hey, three counters. Bye. Another counter from below. I'm going to take the cards. Okay. So I'm gonna call it a day, um, but next episode, you gotta join me because I'm gonna go in the altar of the Cyclops. And I can get a Cyclopean tune, which is awesome, but also a demonic tutor. So I think this was a really good run to start the year. Um, like I said, it's my new year's resolution to beat the end boss, the Planeswalker. I know it's really tough, but uh, I'm gonna try. You know, and if I don't succeed, I'm just going to go for another run, right? It's good excuse as any. But first, I still have to get all the dungeons. And, of course, i got to defeat the two castles still. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And if you've got any cool magic-related uh, resolutions for the new year, let me know in the comments below. I would love to read them. And uh, see you guys next time. Let's double save. Let's, let's be double save in 2024. We're going to double save. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Her light in the morning. Way day now she rises. Way day now she rises. Way day now she rises. Her light in the morning. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Her light in the morning. Way day now she rises. Way day.
Let us think it is Samba Kazi. 